والصلاه والسلام على المبعوث رحمه للعالمين سيدنا ونبينا محمد بن عبد الله الصادق الامين واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله سيد الانبياء وخاتم المرسلين احمدك ربي على كل قضائك وجميع قدرك حمد الرضا بحكمك لليقين بحكمتك واصلي واسلم على خير خلقك ونور عرشك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على اشرف الخلق وحبيب الحق المصطفى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم براذ سيستن اسلام ريسبكتيف فيوز السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته وان اهلا وسهلا ويلكم تو ا بروجرام فيرست اوف اول اي ميك دعاء تو الله سبحانه وتعالى باي ذيس مبارك مانث مي الله تبارك وتعالى جرانت اول ذا مرحومين جنه الفردوس اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وسكنهم في الجنه رب ارحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا انا اسك الله سبحانه وتعالى مي الله جرانت شفاء تو اول اور ماذرز اند سيسترز اند ذوز هو ال مي الله جرانت ديم شفاء كامل عاجل غير اجل ان شاء الله Brother and sister in Islam, I don't know when, when, when we come on TV and talking about Allah and His Rasul. We, we, have, we have a feeling that Allah Rabbul Izzat Tabarak wa Ta'ala gave us a deen, covers all the necessity of life. Ulama, scholars, salihin, Muslims, non-Muslims needs the Quran al-Kareem because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the book of life, the way of life. We heard in the news that in the parliament, the lawmakers, the legislator, those who are making constitution, they are fighting all year to set up one section, one act, and next government or next people, they come, and next parliament, they come and destroy it and cancel it. The one who put the desire, the, 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 that the law or the one who put the way of life should not be a human being. He must be someone else beside the human being, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because we in sun, we got hawa, we got desire. We learn that side and that. And we see in the time of socialism, they favoring the workers and they destroy the, the business people. And in capitalism, they favoring the business people and uh, they destroy the, 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 the workers and all they make uh, what you call privatization and all this that we see now here. So you find shaking of economy, money crisis, food crisis, and political crisis. You find it there. Why? Because the one who issued the law, or the one who set up the constitution, is a human being, not the creator, the creator of human being. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no desire. The only one who is neutral, in this dunya is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because when he set up a law, it will be sufficient and cover, uh, cover for everyone or, or all the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now many of our friends, they force me to talk about something which I never talk about it in, on TV. It's a very serious and very dangerous issue. You know, divorce, inheritance, and this one, this one. It's called wasiya, the well very serious thing and for me because I, i'm not a mufti if you want to discuss your wasiya your well how to issue that well you have to sit not with a lawyer you have to sit with a mufti for a long time to tell him what you want exactly to do but because of our sisters and our brothers are forcing us to talk i'm talking as a da'wah as a general talk, but I'm not, I'm not issuing a fatwa because it's very serious and I'm very scared of that. Many people, they can take it for granted. Let's talk general, and then when you come to the details, you have to go to your mufti, 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 the one who can guide you because every person, he got his own story with his inheritance, his divorce, and his wasiyah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلِلَّهِ مِرَاثُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Indeed, the inheritance belong, 
the inheritance of the sky and earth is belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once you die, you have no business at all in your money because belong to the sharia, not belong to your son or your father or your, your belong to the sharia and sharia will deliver it and, and, and give you the shape. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not deprive people from sadaqah jariyah, from good amal. Many people helped you. You feel sorry that your little son, your little daughter, unmarried girl in your family, your cousin, your, your grandson, you need to give him something. He did help you, look after you, and you find yourself, your heart is leaning to give him something. Now, that is a problem. How much you're going to give him, and why, and when, and how, that, that thing is called wasiyah, the well. He said, this, my, my, my niece looking after me for 20 years, she didn't marry and she stayed with me, look after me, and I had no one to look after me. My children left me away. You find so nice drama. And then that lady, she wrote the house. Oh, that man he is sick and say, I'm going to die. My children are very bad. I have to leave the house to my wife. And the lady said, if I die, you must give my jewelry to this daughter. Oh, no, don't give that one. Give that one. It is very serious. Really, it's very serious. For me to roll it up in a TV program is impossible. It's impossible because the kitab, this bab, this is a chapter in many kitabs of fiqh, the kitab al wasiya or that wasiya. Quran Karim spoke about it. Very serious, more than inheritance. The wasiya, the well, is more than inheritance. Because inheritance we know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give the shay and to the men and women and is is written, this is straight. No one can argue about the inheritance. But after funeral you discover that someone come with a paper and say, Your father give me this. Oh no, your mother say it orally like this, it was a well and was seen. And now the may it gone to Allah must pay for this wrong wasiya, and the children are fighting one another, and they don't fulfill the wasiyat, you find a big mess, big fraction in the family, and sometimes people hate the marhum, don't want to make dua for him. So now, when we say wasiyah, we have three people involved. The person who give, the one who issued it, the one who carried that wasiyah, the one who kept it as a trust, and the one who is going to receive the wasi. So you have muwasi, musi, and musi lahu. We call him musi lahu. Sometimes that one who take that well is a lawyer. And sometimes cousin, uncle, one of the family member, neighbors, any, any, any person you find him there. I don't want to say wasi is, is not right because it's sharia, is permissible. But how? How? That is it. They call wasiyah, the meaning in the language wasiyah comes from wasala, joining, connecting. It means connecting the sadaqa jariya after your death. In sharia, they say a grant, a gift, you give it to someone after your death. After your death, not before. Because in your lifetime, we don't call it wasiyah, we call it hadiyah or atiyah, grant, gift. Uh, as we said, after death, not before. Hadiyah, giving hadiyah, got its own rules. We have to talk about it some in other time. Got own rules because hadiyah got its own law and its own rules. Quran al Karim spoke about wasiyah, inheritance, Surah Al Baqarah, hadith of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa day. And he said, if you have wasiyah, you have to write it. You cannot stay away two nights without. Uh, that, uh, that without rating the wasiyah. Uh, we have different type of wasiyah. We've got money, we've got uh, property, we've got farms, we've got jewelry, we've got animals, birds, we've got clothes, we've got in sh shops or whatever. But uh, the first wasiyah we give, which is wajib for everyone, you must give wasiyah and well advice that they must follow Allah and His Rasul. Allah tushriku billahi do not associate partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the first wasiyah, you write it, do not associate partner with Allah. It means bid'an or all this thing. Because really, many salih children, after they die, 
their grand their children they, they lost they lost or oh, ulama they lost they, their children lost so that wasiya will count it now as with a good niyat good intention as a sadaqa jariya you want to help someone you, that, as i said now someone did help you you want to give him little bit favor after your death but how we got hukum the the, the rules of wasiya as wajiba it must be there if if it is debt Someone, you owe him money that is not written. You have to, you have no proof. You have to write it down and say, I owe that person what, what. That one here, you can't die without, without it. Really, that is called Dain. They call it Dain. Now, that is called Dain. But what about if you want to write something to someone as Wasiya, as a gift after your death, the first rule of that, you have to inform those who are going to inherit you. They must be aware about it. You can't keep it secret. They say, you open my well after I die. You say, no, you open the problem after you die. So you have to ask, especially if you have children or those who are going to inherit you, poor, poor people. So how are you going to take your house and give it to someone while your children have no house and have no roof on their head? As the Quran said, bil ma'roof. Bil ma'roof, it means according the sharia, not according the culture or the custom, according the, the, the law of the secular law and the court and all that. No, we have to do it bil ma'roof according the rules of Islam. It's very serious thing. And my heart is so when we heard that so many people exceeding the boundary of Allah on the sharia, and unfortunately that person died, and he caused a problem after his death and a problem for himself in Akhira. Short break, we'll continue with that, inshallah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters in Islam, welcome to our program. I'd like to thank all our viewers from Cape Town. And shukran jazeelan for your emails and phone calls and SMSs. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. And our great greeting and salam to all our viewers from Zimbabwe and neighboring country of South Africa. Shukran jazeelan that you're tuning to our program. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you on behalf of our cameramen and our editors and producers and all our friends and sisters in the studio here. We say shukran jazeelan. And please accept the salam of everyone here on TV. And on your behalf, I'd like to thank our chairperson here on ITV, Dr. Adam and his family, and Dr. Ahmad Adam. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them for the serving of Deen al-Islam, inshallah. Today, again, we have to remind you about that serious issue. It's called wasiya. And as I remind you, you must sit with a mufti and discuss it properly. Maybe my words doesn't fit well. So you have to go and sit with a mufti and discuss if you have intention to leave wasiya or to leave a well to after you. Because as I said, many mothers and sisters and many brothers, they need to give something for people out of their family. They are not inheritors. They, this man was a, a helper and he was helping him for 20 years, 30 years. He want to give this one. Oh, some mothers, you want to give that little daughters one bangles, one necklace, one ring and all that. And she don't know if she's doing halal or haram. It's very serious. As I said before the break, there is something that's called wajib, wasiya. You have to do it if you owe people money. So you have to inform. And number two, bil ma'roof. Bil ma'roof, it means according the kitab of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the sunnah of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we got mustahab well. Well is a wasiya. Mustahab well. Which if you have rich children, they are okay. And as the ulama said, one of your family, one of your family needs help. The one who has no share in your inheritance. So you give him that time. And we have makruh, makruh uh, wasiya, makruh well, you don't do it at all. If you have little bit of money, you leave a small house and you've got so many children, how are you going to give that house to someone else? That is not allowed. We don't encourage people to do that. You can't punish your children because they used to have a hard time with you in your life. And now you, you want to deprive your son and your daughter from that. You say, no, I'm going to give it to my uncle or my what, what. You say, no, no, no. That is makruh because if you, your, your property or your money or your inheritance is very little, so how are you going to share and you make it welfare? 
Now you must leave, leave it for those who deserve to get the inheritance or the Sharia given to them. Why? You cause enmity, you, you, you make fight after your death, and you deprive your warith, your inheritor, and, and you leave them struggling and you solve the problem of someone else. No, no, that is, that is makro. We got someone, it's called haram, absolutely haram. Don't do it at all. If you do it, it's not wasiyah, it's not a charity, you won't get reward like this. The ulama said, number one, if it's more than the third of the inheritance, aksaru min al-thuluth. And Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa even was not happy with the third. He wanted to say, no, wa thuluthu kathir. Even the third is too much. So not more than the third. If you give half or three quarter, that is haram, it's not allowed. And the ulama said also, if you give inheritance for something which is haram, you, you, you give uh, alcohol as inheritance, stolen money as inheritance, that, that you, uh, as a well, as a well, that is also is, is, is haram. The other thing also, anything again is sharia. Ah. How, how, how you give your house as a well uh, for the church or for, for non-Muslim people? How, how you make it? Or you leave it as a shepin or night club or something like that. No, if it's against Sharia, that is forbidden. Even if it's your own property, you're not allowed to do that. Uh, if you give it to someone who will obviously inherit you, la wasiyat and that is also a bit, uh, a bit uh, serious issue. You don't give to someone who will inherit you. You got she la wasiyat liwarith. And the other thing also. You want to give it to someone to deprive someone else. That's that what we have it here in our emails. Her son never looked after her for so many years. And now my son married and left me and ran away from me for 25 years. He never visited me and what, what. I'm going to give all that money to my husband. He said, no, wait, wait, wait. Why? I want to give him so that, that my son mustn't take one cent from Say, No, no, wait, wait, wait. You're depriving that is ظلم في الوصية نبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم that narrated on Tirmidhi that indeed the rajul or the mara a man or the woman يعمل بطاعة الله is working as an obedience of Allah for 60 years 60 سنة ثم يحضرهم الموت then they witness death the death came to them and then فَيُضَارَّانِ فِي الْوَصِيَّةِ And then they start to exceed the law of Allah in the wasiyah. And then فَتُجِبْ لَهُمَ النَّارِ And then they deserve to enter the fire of death. This is called the worst death. Before one day or two days before death, he just change his will and deprive someone. And there is a hadith also. مَنْ فَرَّ بِمِرَاثِ وَارِثِ Whosoever flee with the inheritance of someone, uh, and he never gave it to him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will deprive him, cut his inheritance from Jannah. He will never see, uh, see the Jannah and never get the reward of Jannah. So you're depriving the person. Again, you, you, you plan to give wasiyah or the well to deprive someone that is, is haram. Mubah, if, if you inherit, if the, your children or your family don't need that thing, they have houses, they have farms, they have many, alhamdulillah. You have to inform them first, and then you ask permission, and then you give that person hadiyah, not more than the third, as the kitab said. So now, how you, you do that wasiyah? How you do that wasiyah? Number one, as the ulama said, number one, wasiyah can be in action, can be applied after your death, not before. You can't just give wasiyah and you take it while you're still alive. No. Wasiyah means after your ruh goes out. They say it immediately. Not years after that, immediately. The man who holds the wasiyah, he must show it in the time of janazah of that person. Number two, do not change the wasiyah. If he said house is house, don't say farm or, or shop or something. If he say one bangle, don't give him ring and ears. It's the same thing there. And then... Don't hide it. Don't say, you know, no one knows, or the mother, or the wife, or son. You say, no one knows, so leave it. No, no, no. That is a manner Allah will ask you, because you eat it, it's haram. And as I said, immediately after death, not in his life. Now, the person who received that amana, 
with that paper, that paper, uh, he must be also uh, uh, um, have that capacity to practice those. You can't give it to the child, you can't give it to the mad person or the person who is careless. He must be uh, uh, qualified to, to have that to amanat and wasiyah, right? The person who give, he must give his own, you know, the mayyit, the one who give. He must give something he belong. He, he can't say, I will get money after. No, no, no. Now, now he got it in his hand. He's a owner, a real owner. Right. The one who give wasiyah, also he must get aql day, common sense. You can't force the insane or small child or mad person to, to give wasiyah. The other thing also, as the ulama said, he must be baligh. He must be baligh. The one who offer that wasiyah or that well, he must be mature, adult enough to understand not the, not the a child. And then he said, uh, he must not be on debt which is equal to that money. What, again, he got a house, but this house bank take it. How are you going to give it as a well? Because that bank is, that my house or the money of the house is not even sufficient for the debt or the money which he owe. All right? And that person, they say, he must talk freely or he must write it freely. He mustn't, uh, he must say it like this, uh, as written if he can't talk and all that. This is, as I told you, it's very serious. He's got so many rules for them. That man who carried the wasiyah, the, the well, that man who, who's going to give that well after the death, he said he should not, he make sure that he's, uh, he, he, he should not uh, involve on that inheritance. He just passed the wasiyah. Right. Number two, he must accept that. You can't force him to take that wasiyah and do it. Say, oh, no, I can't. I can't. The other thing also, he must know what exactly. He must see with his naked eyes. You can't leave envelope and say, give it to him. You must see with that item or that object, as the ulama said. Uh, he must know whom he must give that well. He must know whom he must give that well. And uh, as I said, uh, is wasiyah, make sure that that person who's going to receive wasiyah is not murtad. Is not murtad, the one who rejected Islam. Uh, the wasiyah, the wasiyah, the wasiyah, as he said here, uh, it could be even uh, general. What is general? I gave it to the orphan, gave it to the school, I gave it to the masjid, gave it to the poor people. So also it's allowed. You can't do like that. You mustn't, if, if you can't catch the name of the person, but you can get the description of the person as they call it wasf, wasf, wasf. Right. Must give it to someone who, who qualify to receive. What is that? You can't give wasiyah. I gave all my house to jinnat. <laughs> no, no, no. That is not qualified. Oh, I gave, I gave, my money or my house to the cat and dogs. No, that is not, is not Islamic. That thing is not Islamic. How come dogs don't have a bank account? How come you say like, the, like what we heard in the news, the movie star gave million of dollars to the cat or the dog or the pig or something like that. If the person, if the person, the one who uh, is supposed to receive the wasiyah, that one who, the, they call it the Musa lahu, the one who received the wasiyah, die before that person, the father or the one who gave the wasiyah, is cancelled. As I told you, it's very serious, very huge topic, very serious, it's not easy like an inheritance. That's why I said to the brother, sit with the mufti, discuss it, inshallah. Short break, we'll come back to you, inshallah. La ilaha illallah La ilaha illallah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back, brother and sister in Islam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all the marhumin Jannatul Firdaus. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us beneficial knowledge and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open the heart of the Muslim to accept the sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once again, we remind you that our topic today is a bit serious topic and I need you to do your research and sit with the mufti before you make any type of decision. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open your way, inshallah. Again, we're talking about the rules of wasiyah, the well, how you give well according to the sharia of Islam. We talk general 
and we just want to highlight something, but your duty and your responsibility before you issue the wasiyah, you have to go to the Muslim mufti and you discuss your matter because every wasiyah you got its own story. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open your heart and save you from any dharar in your wasiyah or any oppression or injustice to your, your wasiyah, inshallah. Before the break, I was talking about the rules and the condition for those who give the wasiyah and the one who received the wasiyah and the one who carried that wasiyah and gave it to the person who deserve it. As I said before, the person who received the wasiyah must be qualified. You can't give a well or your money to the dog or to the animals or to the tree. He must be qualified to own, to possess and to have that type of ownership for that thing. Another thing also, many fathers and want to give the grandson uh, while the, the, his daughter-in-law pregnant and all that, he want to give something, make sure that this call a janine or the fetal or that baby there on the stomach, it's, the ulama said, hamlum muhaqqaq, is guaranteed pregnancy. Guaranteed pregnancy, not one month or two months. The ulama said, it's six months. It's six months. Because we don't know that the, the hamlum muhaqqaq, it's six months. When the baby is six months, not before than that. Right. Now they ask, is it uh, permissible for, for kafir to, uh, uh, to give wasiyah, to give you hadiyah? Yes. The ulama said yes. Right. What gift you give, what wasiyah you give, what well you give? Number one, something you can own it. Can't give wasiyah that I must give my children the moon and the sun or the river. It's not mine. How you, so it must be... <laughs> owned by me so that I can give it to it. Uh, before I die, not after. Before I die, not after. Number two, you have to give wasiyah if that thing is permissible. Permissible is not disobedience of Allah. You say, no, I got one bottle of alcohol, you must take it if I die. Or a musical instrument or something like that. No, it must be permissible. The other thing also, Knowledge, knowledge if it's kitab, must be books, books, kitab and knowledge. And uh, uh, as I said, that property which you give it after your de death, not before. Before it's called hadiyah, gift or uh, grant. Uh, the wakil, the one, the deputy, the one who is taking that as a trust and going to pass it to the children or the one who, who cut after that, as I said, he must be baligh, mature, Aqil wise. Doesn't matter man or woman. It doesn't matter man or woman. Rashid. You know what is Rashid? Got capacity and ability to do it. Rashid, it means can, he can manage to do it. He can't right, right? Uh, he can manage it, right? The other thing also, we prefer, as they say, Muslim. Not any Muslim. Muslim and Salih even. If you can't get one of your family, you must get a neighbor or someone. Muslim Salah. Now they talk about lawyer. Muslim Salah. Also pious and good. Fair and just. People got, got nice reputation. He will fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will practice it inshallah. The one who does not involve on haram, the one who is not on the drugs. You must choose a nice one, the one who can do it. Uh, make sure that this person He's, he, he got his sufficient uh, uh, wealth. He's a bit, little bit rich. Oh, he won't attack and take this one. It's not daif, it's not weak for money. Because you've got some people, they change. After they got that, they change. Right? The other thing also, uh, can't do that wasiyah uh, as to let your daughter marry or you your, your sell and buy after the, the death. No. No, it's not this one. Okay. He mustn't change the property, the, the, the well. If it's a house, he can't say it's a farm. No, he must do it as is written there. Uh, as the, the ulama said, but if you are a traveler and you got only one person, so you take him. Take him. What you can do? Because this, if you're going to die, is the only one who can get that well or that wasiyah. And he said, that man, he can play a little bit with the money if he wants to give him transport. Let's say, let's say, let's say, uh, me and one person, we are traveling, we have money. And I give him wasiyah, take 1,000, give it to that person. But 
I'm on overseas. And they need to pay the ticket you take from that. Oh, ghusl and kafan and some expense of the funeral and all that in the traveling, not in a home time. So what you say, you, he can take as it needs. The, the ulama said like that. Uh, if he's a traveler, he can't say, no, I won't take it because you're the only one. So you say, you are traveling, you are on hajj, you say, Sheikh, I give you this wasiya like this. No, no, no. So where am I? You're the only one from my village or my town. So you can't run away. It's wajib upon you to take it. Right. If you can't take it, if you don't find it, you have to inform the hakim, the Muslim ruler, the Amir al muminin as the, the ulama said. Uh, hakim, that ruler or that governor of the town, it's responsibility upon him. He said, if you give that wasiyah to someone to keep after your death, and he must not neglect it and abuse it. Like if it's an animal and he leave it walk like this or eat poison or die like that, he must protect it and look after it, right? He should not use it for business, for himself. And then he will give it later on. No, he must leave it as is. Even the ulama said he's not allowed to give loan from it. Someone give you money as a trust, you're not allowed to give it as a loan. You must leave it as uh, as as it is, uh, for price, the, the 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 labor for that, the ulama said, uh, if he's poor, you can negotiate, but not 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 that. That's why I said to you, go to the mufti, go to the mufti. It's, it's like that. Uh, if if that well is belong to the ummah, like like your father said, I leave a million dollar uh, for the schools after I die. So your father died tomorrow, and you have million. So there's no zakat for it. The, the ulama said there's no zakat because it's going for a public. It's going for a public, not for the individual, going for schools, massages, like that. When your well will be cancelled, when your well will be cancelled, you, you're free from it. Oh, you can't do it. Number one, if that one you're supposed to give him the well die before you, his wife can't say, no, give me the money. Because your father's still alive. How are you going to take? If that person who's offered the, the well died, so that, that, that one is is, is gone. That wasiya is cancelled. If that man who's going to receive the wasiya kill his father, that also is not allowed. He, he won't take it. He won't, the sharia don't give, give him like this. Uh, they say, if he put condition, if I die in my travel, you take this. But that man didn't die. And he died at home, not on the travel. That was he has cancelled. Uh, he put condition. He put condition. If I gain this money, if it comes, I will give you. But now the money never comes. So it's khalas. It's if it's, 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 it's perished in his lifetime, your father promised that he's going to give you this car after he died. But this car is stolen now or burned. So, khalas. so there's no responsibility for that. If the thing is haram, as I said, so you can't practice that we'll see, as I said. Uh, if, the, if the father changes his mind, he's right, he can change his mind. He say if he changes his mind, it's fine. Oh, he said, no, I never do that. So the, the father, the father or the man who give wasiyah or the mother, if she change it, today I write my wasiyah, tomorrow I cut it, it's fine. It's not a promise, it's not a nether, it's not a, a, a right for that person, it's just an offer. So let's say your father give wasiyah that he's going to give you this house, right? And after one week he said, no, I don't want it, I don't want it, now I change my mind. And Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu changed, he gave Sayyidina Aisha garden, and in the time of death, Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, oh, they said, Aisha, I changed my mind. Get share with your brothers because he knows they're going to fight and all that. And one Sahabi came to Rasulullah, Rasulullah, come, I give the garden to my son. So, so, so the Rasulullah asked him, did you give uh, all the children like that? He said, no, only him. He said, no, I can't witness a false or injustice. He's, he, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam counted it as a zulm or unfair. That man he want to give in his lifetime and the other children, actually he's going to have a bad time and bad problem. As I said, 
Wasiya is very important. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us to fulfill the right of, of our wasiya, especially the wasiya of iman and taqwa. How you make wasiya? You have to write it. You have to write it. Signature, the ulama, I yeah, said no. Because we can't get him to sign again. It's very difficult. He must write it with his handwriting. Full. Now we have a paper printed form like that. It's fine, but, uh, but it's, it's, it's very hard. It's very hard. So the ulama said we must be written with his handwriting. Short break. We'll continue after that, inshallah. لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back brother and sister Islam Once again we thank all of you that are watching our show and شكرا جزيلا We'd like to thank brother Muhammad Pamji from Linesia and all brother Faisal and brother Suleiman May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you and shukran jazeelan that you are tuning to our ITV and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use ITV as a madrasa inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open for us the way of ilmun nafa inshallah. Once again we thank you for your emails and SMSs. Today we are talking and we are sharing the idea about the wasiya because really it's, it's so common now. People they want to help someone, they want to leave something for children but they don't know if it's halal, haram and uh, also that issue is not... Uh, published amongst us, we don't talk it because uh, actually ulama don't prefer such uh, action like that. But it's in there, is, as I said, there is wajib sometimes, there is a mustahab, and there is a makruh and haram, and we, we have uh, so many rules on that wasiyah on that well. Before the break, I, want to say, I wanted to say how you make the wasiyah, you write it down with his handwriting. And now this, nowadays the lawyer got certain forms, as you know, but Islamically, according to Sharia, we have to write it with handwriting. Signature is not enough because nowadays people, they can scan and make all the problem. They have got so many things. Stamp also is not guaranteed. That's why the ulama here, he said he must write it with his own handwriting. Right. If he can't write, as the, the ulama said, can't write, that's why we need witness. We need someone to take this one here. So we have witness to uh, 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 get. And the good one, we have to get written and witness together. So you have to keep that witness and fair witness. They call it udul. People with good, nice reputation, good reputation, they can witness with that. Uh, witness can be Muslim, as they say. And if you can't, if you can't, we have to get a Muslim. If you can't, you must get them Ahlul Kitab. Ahlul Kitab, it means Christian or Jew. Christian or Jew only. Not uh, fire worshiper or idol worshiper or any other belief. We got one of this Ahlul Kitab. The Kufar, if you get Kufar, the ulama put it here, say if you are a Musafir, if you are a traveler, you are on the way, and you got only one disbeliever like a, a Hindu or some other other type of belief besides Christian and uh, Jew. So you, you can keep them. Uh, as we said, we prefer a man to be witness, not a woman. W women is fine, but with the ulama said a man is better. You know why? Because women do forgot quickly. Uh, with my full respect to my wife and my daughters and all my friends here, uh, sisters watching, really women they forgot because of so many things and too much pressure on the women, she can't remember. And the ulama also, they were a bit sensitive on that. He said, if wasiyah, if it's wasiyah, to give him, wasiyah to give him, women is fine. But if to take from him, if he owe people money or something, no, not a woman. You know, because it's really forgetful uh, person. Women forget quickly. And... Uh, is like that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I know some women are going to get crosses, not me. Is, is, uh. Now, as I said, you can withdraw the wasiyah in your lifetime, not on the death. You can't. As I said, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, as long as the person is still alive, he can change the well. When I say well, it's not inheritance. It's not a gift. It's a well. Right? Uh, he can change it. He can reduce it and increase it in his lifetime. In his lifetime. Uh, but if he die, khalas, if he die. Uh, as I said, you can change it when, when if you got some problem. 
Yeah, you lost your money, your children now, they, uh, like that, you, you can. Uh, uh, you, uh, if you did give wasiyah, the well, and someone like me remind you, say, hey, you give more than the third, is haram and all that, you can take and you take it, you change it and you make less. Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa he, he asked us not more than the third, and he said even the third is so much. So how much we give? They say one over five. The ulama here, yeah, the whole mazhab, they say one over five. That is in the safe side, as I said, is very serious, uh, 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 serious wasiyah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us to leave it for the sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I don't want to talk about those who are selling and buying from their father. They give him fake contract, as, as the friend said, a fake contract. And he said, no, my father got money from me. And you see, he gave me the, the, the house, or paper, or a car, or something like that. Inheritance is very serious. It's very serious. The ulama, the salaf, the sahaba, the, the, the pious people, they were very scared of that type of wasiyah, inheritance, or a well, or even the gift. Gift is called atiyah or hadiyah in, in your life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save our Muslim ummah from any darar or any hurt or harming in their well, inshallah. My message to my mothers and my father, don't write anything for anyone in your lifetime till you die. That is the best because I see one friend, he said, I wrote for my daughter the house because I stay with her. And then the daughter passed away before him. So the son-in-law married another girl and the girl came and take the house and kicked the father out from the house. Don't say, no, my children won't do that. Alhamdulillah, may Allah give them hidayah. But never, ever, never, ever in your lifetime put your neck in the hand of someone, even if it's your own son. Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa taught the elderly people and taught all of us that make this dua, Allahumma aj'al awsa'a rizqaka alayya inda kibari sinni wa anqita'a umri. Oh Allah, shower me in the last time or last part of my life with a lot of money and rizq. Don't play with your roof. Don't show mercy to your sons and daughters. As I said to you, it's very complicated, very serious issue. Leave it in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Leave for them iman. Leave for them the good inheritance, taqwa, and the belief of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save the Muslim ummah from any haram or any injustice, inshallah. I'd like to thank my respected uh, viewers who send SMS. I know, you know, in, in our Islamic TV, we, we try to respect our viewers and we are here just to remind them about the beauty of Islam, and this is a da'wah program. But as I said to the brothers and sisters in Islam, any Muslim, any Muslim, which I have to give it in short, because our mothers are watching us, our, our little young children are watching us, I don't want to try to embarrass them and give them a bad things day or something to feel shy. We have Izzat day. Sexual intercourse, sexual intercourse, Haram sexual intercourse, that cursing the person and you cause enmity with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Any Muslim, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not allowed to do kabair, a major sin. Amongst the major sin is that sexual intercourse or that zina. We'll put it this way, zina. I know that many men he got that desire and he want to enjoy his wife who do this and that. We don't accept a Muslim zani because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if the zina become a common amongst the Muslim, وَإِذَا فَشَتِ الْفَاحِشَةُ فِي قَوْمٍ And then the, when the fahisha, the zina, spread amongst the uh, nation, حَتَّى يُعْلِنُوا بِهَا يُعْلِنُوا بِهَا It means they announce about it, they talk about it. إِلَّا فَشَتْ فِيهُمُ الْأَوْجَاعُ وَالْأَسْقَامُ الَّتِي لَمْ تَكُنْ فِي أَسْلَافِهِمْ The diseases and sickness will spread amongst them who never experienced it before. Nowadays, AIDS, what, 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 what? Muslim, the worshiper of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the true believer of Allah, must mind his offspring, he must mind that issue. Not only 
zina or adultery, even looking, low your gaze, fear Allah, no touch, nazarat, lafazat, khutuat, khatarat. Khatarat is your thought. The only religion worries about thought is Islam. Ummah al-Islam, we are the ummah of chaste, ummah of modesty. We are tahir, we are clean. That's why in Islam, you find Muslims marry more than one woman. But we count her as a wife. First one, you say she was very old, I know, like this, okay. Marry the second one, but you must fulfill the right of the other. Number two, no, no, the second one also is worse. Okay, marry the third one. No, 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 the third one is worse. Okay, marry the fourth one. No, 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 you say, stop, it's four. I gave you four chances. No, no, they say, no, you get the problem, not the women now. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you a permissible thing so that you must save. Instead of saying, this is my second girlfriend and third girlfriend, we say, mother of my children, second wife. We respect it. And also under so many conditions. But my friend, we have to understand that Muslim Ummah is not mukhtan, is not betrayal, is not a cheater. We have to be honest to our wife for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the hidayah and tawfiq inshallah. With my full respect to our Muslim sisters and brother, you can marry that women azaniyatu la yankihuha illa zanin aw mushri. The adulterer, the lady who gave you her body, can be the mother of your children. Can't. Why? Why? Because azaniyatu la yankihuha illa zanin. At-tayyibuna lit-tayyibat. How come you're Muslim, you have a decent wife? Five times salah. You marry her bi amanatillah. And you slept with her with the permission of Allah. And you go and mix her life with a dirty woman who cheating Allah and his Rasul and her husband or her father. That is very terrible. Not allowed in Islam. We make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save Ummah al-Islam from any type of haram and any type of zina. Just leave it for Allah. Low your gaze. Leave it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you khair and will content your heart with your wife, inshallah. Rabbana, innana sami'na munadiya yunadi lil-iman. An aminu bi rabbikum fa'amanna. Rabbana faghfir lana dhunubana wa kafir anna sayyatina. Wa tawafana ma'al abrar wa akhiru da'wana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Rabbuna rabbul qulubi wa huwa شروط وفي الغروب نوره يهدي العصا ربنا رب القلوب وهو علام الغيوب في الشروط وفي الغروب نوره يهدي العصا ربنا الهادي الودود فضله